Um, what do you think about Bitcoin and uh, cryptocurrencies and all that kind of thing? Do you think that's got a future? Do you have any? Um, I can't say. I mean, I, I'm, I, I don't know much about Bitcoin right? I, or, or the other cryptocurrencies. And I, I don't see the point to them. Yeah. Now, if there's no point to something, people are not going to use it. And bear in mind as well that pe people can be suspicious of cryptocurrencies because of the risk of fraud. Uh, and you've got to say, but people have to be convinced that it's actually worth their while using them. In the same way, I, I, I was saying, saying to my kids, what is the point of Instagram when you've got <laughs> Twitter and Facebook? And they will tell me, well, it's photographs, it's that and the other. I've not quite seen it, really. It seems to be just to be a duplication of, of other uh, social media platforms. Uh, you know, what, I'm 53, what do I know? <laughs> so yeah, you'd be neat to say to people, there is a reason why this exists. And I, I've never understood why they exist in the first place. You know, in an yeah. age when it's easy. I mean, if you were trying to create a system where it was easy to move financial transactions around the world, uh, then uh, you might have a case, but it's already easy to do it, and you can do it via reputable banks. So why create a new system? Well, I think the whole thinking behind it is that the banks are not reputable. <laughs> I think it's, it's, well, it's basically activism against the banks. It's, it's decentralization. It's, the con it's this concept of uh, having the masses regulate it as opposed to a centralized authority like a bank. Um, so, I, you know, but, but it is, it's a bit like a cult at the moment, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't fancy giving my money to what sounds like a, an anarchist collective, to be honest. At yeah. least I know that at least I know the high street banks are, are regulated and I think most people would trust that their cash is safe with them.